Hey, 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 friends. I'm traveling again. I am traveling and it feels good. Well, not necessarily traveling in the way I was doing before, but I'll get into that. I just arrived in the beautiful city of Puerto Vallarta. I am super excited to show you around. As of right now, I'm in the condo where I am staying, but I will soon show you what it's like out there in the world of Puerto Vallarta. For me, so, excuse me, um, you haven't made a video in about seven months, and you're just gonna act no, like no, everything no. is normal. Hey, I'm in Puerto Vallarta now. No, I know, I know. What's, maybe you should talk a little bit about what happened the past year? Um, excuse me, I agree with this guy. You went from traveling full time, creating tons of videos, to not traveling at all and creating no videos on your YouTube channel. Don't you think maybe you should owe an explanation to some of the people who subscribe to your channel? Okay, maybe they're right or I'm right, but before I show you Puerto Vallarta, let's take it back a little bit for a rewind. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. First, we're gonna do a real quick recap as to what I've been doing for the past year since I haven't shared videos. And then I wanna get into the reasons as to why I haven't shared any videos on YouTube with you. And then finally, I'll get into what I'm doing now and how the past year has changed me and my perspective on a few different things and how that is going to impact the future of what I decide to do and how I make my videos. You ready? Let's go. Okay, let's start at the beginning of 2020, shall we? I was traveling around the beautiful country of Colombia. I actually filmed an entire travel series focused on travel tips that I never shared because when I started editing it, travel was completely restricted. So I felt weird about sharing a travel series focused on tips when you couldn't even travel there. So I never finished editing that series. So as of right now, all those clips are just sitting on my hard drive. <laughs> Maybe I'll share those eventually, but as of right now, I wanna make some new videos. In the beginning of March, right before the pandemic, I flew to Orlando for an event with Joby called Playlist Live, which I did make a video about. And right after that is when the entire world shut down. So I was staying in Orlando because my brother Andrew was living there. He was going to film school so he had an apartment and I pretty much lived with him for like two months. And then at the end of May my dad came down to Orlando to meet us and we did the most epic road trip across the United States. We're going from Florida. See the palm trees? We're going from Florida. We're going all the way across this country. We're gonna wind up. We're going everywhere. We're, where are we going? Where are we going? We're going everywhere. And this was such a memorable experience. Quality father, son, brother bonding time. And this was the last video series that I made on YouTube. So you can check that out if you haven't seen it yet. And after this is when my YouTube channel started becoming less active because I stopped traveling. I went back to New York, and not the city, but the suburbs of Long Island, which is not too far from New York City, but still much different. And at this point, I decided to refocus on new opportunities and take some of the things I've learned over the past few years of traveling and apply that in new ways. So for example, I met up with a really good friend of mine, Alon Avgi, who you may have seen in some of my Instagram stories, or actually I did make a video with Alon in it, which was my last video I shared. And the original idea I proposed to Alon was to work with him for three months, documenting his journey as he was growing in the industry of real estate investing. And I just wanna quickly take a moment to just appreciate everything I learned from being around Alon and all the connections and all the people he introduced me to. This guy is not normal, <laughs> in a good way. I made $60,000 when I was 13 years old selling this bed right here. He lives and breathes entrepreneurship. He's a natural born leader and he will not hesitate to spark up a conversation with anyone, anywhere, at any time. So it was seriously motivating to spend so much time around a guy like Alon. And like I said, I already made a video talking a little bit about my work with Alon and another super awesome person named Carmen. How ten reasons you need like So I don't know if I mentioned how I started working with her, but 
she was a friend of Alon's and then she started seeing the content and videos that Alon was sharing on his social media. So she hit up Alon and was like, yo, who's doing all this content? And Alon was like, yo, that's my friend Steve. And then Carmen was like, yo, can I speak to Steve? And I was like, hey Carmen, what's up? I'm Steve. <laughs> and Carmen and I started working together because she is a beast in the life insurance industry. She's actually the number one top producing female in her entire company's history. Bitch, you guessed it. Three things they don't teach you in school. But first, let's review three things they do. Hey, so you wanna make some more money? Let's talk about commission sales. So she is a boss ass busy now. <laughs> Carmen, if you're watching this right now, I really appreciate our time together. I have learned so much from just being around you and watching what you do. You inspire so many people. You are seriously one of the most, if not the most generous and genuine caring people I've ever met. So getting back to a quick recap as to where the frick I was going during the pandemic. Although I did not share much during this time, I, I did actually travel a little bit during the pandemic. In October, I went to Arizona with Alon and his brother Anthony and his sister Joy and our friend Lauren to go visit our good friend Justin because he moved to Phoenix. So we spent a little time exploring the area around Phoenix and Tempe. This is a very special moment. Lauren, your first time touching a cactus. I know, this is riveting. You, um, have, to, I... you have to punch it with your face. I don't think that's <laughs> it. Also spent an epic day hiking a trail in Sedona. So did you know that Sedona is known as a vortex? And it's believed that there is a swirling energy center in this area. And what most people don't know is the only way to actually absorb this energy is by bending down and spreading your second mouth <laughs> right at the sun. That's more Bill Nye. You have to suck in, like clench. Declench. Clench, declench. Spreading love and spreading cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> hey everyone, welcome to Steve's vlog. Make sure hey to like, subscribe, here. click the bell button. Check it out, we're, we're in the cave. So and then in November, I went on a trip to Tulum. And this is where things get interesting. And this leads us right into a perfect segue to talk about the next thing I want to mention, which is why, some of the reasons as to why I stopped sharing videos on YouTube temporarily. Because obviously I'm sharing this, so hey, I'm back. But there were valid reasons. And this trip to Mexico really made me reflect and think a lot about this topic. Reflect and love yourself. Especially this one video, because I was originally going to Mexico, I filmed a bunch of things, I was gonna to put together just a regular travel vlog with some advice and showing what Tulum is like because it's a hot spot for travelers, very, very popular place right now. So naturally, I was making a video about what it's like there. But that all completely changed when I got sick. I got it, I got the thing that everybody was fearing, I got the sickness for the reason for this global pandemic and the reason as to why I haven't been traveling. And I made a video talking about it and it didn't feel right so I scratched it all and I made another video talking about it and it didn't feel right and I did that three times and on the third time I had it, I was editing it, I had it just as I thought could be best to present it and ultimately I decided against it because I was thinking what's the reason of sharing this, right? And in the back of my head, I knew it was for attention or not. I didn't want it to be, but I knew it was going to get attention because a video like this would most likely do pretty well on YouTube. It would probably get a lot of views. And when I first started YouTube, I never like the first videos of my channel weren't intended to get a lot of views. I thought maybe one day I can get a lot of views, but th and then I started getting more and then and then it became this toxic game of figuring out what type of videos I can make that will generate more views. And sometimes doing that leads to a mindset of creating content that I'm not even really passionate about anymore. And that 
is what led me to slow down on making videos so I can think about this and reflect. Because I made this video about Tulum. I was going to call it. The title was going to be, I went to Tulum and got COVID. That would probably get a lot of attention. I started thinking, great, this is going to get so many views. It's going to be a good video. I haven't made a video in a while. This will be good. And then I also started thinking on the opposite spectrum of why do I want views? This isn't something I'm proud about. I'm not proud of getting sick. In fact, it should be the opposite. I, it's very recommended not to travel. I did the thing that everybody was saying not to do and I got the thing that everyone was afraid of. I did, that was irresponsible. I did something wrong. Meanwhile, I created a video about it talking about my experience with the intention of and the mindset of oh this is gonna get a lot of views what is going on why and that's that's when I started realizing okay maybe maybe I should refocus my uh, my intention for making these videos and then I started reflecting and thinking about the past and how much how much I've focused on sharing things rather than experiencing things so that's what I want to do more. Moving forward, I want to experience more. I do love using a camera. I love filming and photographing things and people, but I've been conflicted because I don't want to crave the attention. You know, that should come naturally for doing the things I enjoy doing. I shouldn't focus the other way. I shouldn't, I shouldn't be chasing the views. I should be chasing the things that I enjoy and maybe make some videos about that and if other people enjoy them too, great. If nobody wants to watch it, doesn't matter. It shouldn't be about that. So I started realizing that YouTube and creating videos on the internet was one of my main sources of income and I wanted it to not be. I want to make videos because I want to, not because I have to. So I started looking for other opportunities to generate an income. This way I can have work and then also maybe make some videos, like I said, because I want to, about the fun things, not because I feel like I have to and I need to, because that's when making videos isn't fun anymore. So that's one major reason as to why I've been so conflicted to share any videos. Also, another major reason is I wasn't traveling and all of the content on my YouTube channel is about travel. So since I wasn't traveling, I didn't feel very inspired or compelled to make videos, and the whole world was going through a weird time. So it wasn't just me. So I just decided to take a little break. A third reason is because I was working a lot. I was working with Alan and Carmen, and there was a media company who had some clients in New York City. There was a real estate agent named Endra and a DJ by the name of Gattuso. And I had many other one-off freelance gigs around New York, but a lot of these things required me to physically be there, whether I was making a video or taking photos or creating some type of content. And one more significant thing that I've been getting involved with, uh, I reconnected with a cousin of mine who is very well established in the finance industry. He's one of the C-suite executives at a huge finance, <laughs> I love the birds out here, at a huge company and he told me that he got the approval and also the funding from the company he works with to start a new company in a very similar space, just involved with more advanced technology. And the reason I'm bringing this up is because when I spoke with him, he was mentioning how he was looking for someone or some team to handle the marketing for this new company and sparked interest in my head. So I actually teamed up with a good friend of mine, Alex, who's very well experienced with the back end of all these advertising platforms. So we teamed up, joined forces, made a proposal, went over it with my cousin and his team, and they gladly accepted. So I started working with them. And the most exciting part about that is it can be done completely remotely, which means I can be anywhere. As long as I get my work done, I can be anywhere. So that's why I decided it was time to leave. I ended up stopping work with all of my clients that required me to physically be there so I could focus on this opportunity with my cousin's business because I think there's a lot of growth potential there. And also I want to make some YouTube videos again. I want to travel. I wanted to get out. I want to experience life again because I felt like for the past year I've just haven't been 
doing any of that. And yeah, I've been, I've been saving. I've been making some money and learning tons about just financial wellness and investing and crypto because I am getting a little older now. You know, when I first started traveling, I was much younger. So my worries or thoughts about the future were <laughs> minimal. But now, although I do try to live in the moment as much as possible, I still want to ensure that I have a prosperous future and have the ability to live life on my own terms and be financially free. So I'm still working on that, we're getting there and I'll share more about that in other videos if you're interested. So yeah, basically, I just spent the past year making some money, surrounding myself with successful people and reflecting a little bit more into myself. So with that being said, I will be creating more videos. I am here in Puerto Vallarta, if you guys wanna see. This is where I'm staying, there's a little pool down there, another building, and right over there, is the Pacific Ocean. So, hey, you're still watching, which means, oh, I dropped a peso. <laughs> but yeah, if you're still watching, maybe you're slightly interested into seeing some of the things I get involved with. Um, so, if you're not already, subscribe, of course. Feel free to like this video, it really helps. And uh, I'll see you in the next one, here in Puerto Vallarta. Peace.